Hi guys. I have no idea what I'm filming today, so I can't even say. But my name is Mariah. I'm a MSc physiotherapy student at the University of Birmingham. And on my channel here, I post physiotherapy, travel, and just stuff, uni kind of related um, information. Yeah, so if you're interested in that, subscribe. Boop, boom, boop, 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 boom. All right. So today I decided to pick up the camera um, as a way to hold me accountable for doing my work. Um, right now I'm in the process of prepping for placement. Um, I start placement on Monday. I'll be in urgent care, so that's going to be cool. Um, I just went through the emails from my placement educator and my placement supervised student coordinator at that trust and just like, took down some notes of some things that I need to remember for Monday. Um, luckily everything like clothes-wise is sorted because I already have all that in Birmingham. Um, urgent care. So, I was told to look over frailty, falls, and UTIs and dementia. I've looked over everything but UTIs before and placement. So what I'm doing now is I'm going through my old notes from other placements and trying to basically just pull it over into one other Word document for this placement so it makes things slightly easier. Um, and then I don't really have to do a lot of work because I'm like, I've done the work already, why am I doing it again? That's kind of how I feel about that. But uh, so that's the plan for today. In, well, that's the first part of today. I've got to do this up quick. I've got to um, double check that I wrote down these video ideas that I have on my whiteboard and then I can get rid of that because they're just taking up space on the whiteboard. I've got to make another attempt at some data analysis for my dissertation. It's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. And then I think by the end of the day, I definitely want to have um, put articles in certain subheadings for the intro. Not necessarily write the intro, but at least have them under the subheadings. Um, it makes things a lot easier. I had a dissertation meeting yesterday, and I'm not going to lie to you. Like, don't get me wrong. I was distracted. I was out and about at the time, so I wasn't able to, like, give it my full 100 uh, attention. Um, but it, that couldn't be helped at that point in time. Um, but the meeting, to be fair, when I walk away from dissertation meetings, I usually walk away a bit like, uh, <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, that tends to be how I walk away from a dissertation meeting, and that's how I walked away yesterday from the dissertation meeting, like, okay, um, but I need to obviously make some progress considering my next meeting's in two weeks. I want to either make some written progress or some data progress, and it's probably going to be written because data I'm still confused like, I feel like I've done what I need to do for things that I'm interested in so maybe I'll send an email to my um dissertation supervisor and be like hey this is all I like these variables are all I really care about do I still need to keep going around the shop you know what I mean I don't see the point if I'm not interested in the variables that you ask me to go in more depth in. but um yeah that's me that is that is me so first word is frailty on my first placement, I was in Tino, and as part of this case study we did at the end of Tino, um, we did it with one of my other colleagues who was on the frailty ward. So we were given a scenario, and we like had to make a PowerPoint and put them all together. I'm just trying to find this scale. So it's always important to keep all the work that you have from different placements in one place trust me because if I had to do this all over again after knowing that I already had covered this information I'd be annoyed so like um okay let's see if I can show you give me a second let me just turn it around okay so for this placement I said Tina we had a case that was like the background of the case like a lady, Mrs. Jones, she came in at A&E, she had this, she had that, like, what were we going to do? So we went through the scenarios, broke it down like that, that that bit I don't care about, like, right now I don't need it. Um, I was just looking to see whether I need things like the comprehensive geriatric assessment, which I'm like, mm, yeah, no, right now, but the main thing I came in here for was the clinical frailty scale. So... If you're dealing with frailty, you may see them ranked on this scale from one to six. So you have very fit, well, well-managed, vulnerable, 
mildly frail and moderately frail and they've got the different components for that department well not that department for that um area and then we've got some research here and i'm trying to see if i've got anything else that i can nab from here it doesn't look like it no cool so that is that and i need to declare a picture so i've got like different thing different folders for each placement um, that was my first placement. Now I have to look up the word falls. So I did some things on falls on my second placement and on my third placement. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my notes. I did this for every placement, made a word document. Go into my notes here, see what I can find. Okay, so that stuff's on blood. I might want to take that considering I'll be in urgent care i think it's important to know bloods and have that information at reach yeah so i'm just going to go through all the other documents i have from placement this will be my fifth placement so i've got some more to go through if they're relevant and copy and paste the information that i have under that relevant title i don't know if i looked up utis for this placement my second placement um hopefully i did so then i can just copy and paste the information um, the font is so small. That's annoying. Actually annoying. Um, hmm. But yeah. And then, so basically, if you're curious what I actually have in these Word documents um, for placement, I do everything I've done for that placement in this one Word document. So then when I'm looking for something later, like right now, I'm able to access it very quickly. So, uh, don't close, for God's sake. So what I put in here is at the start, I'll do all the prep in that one document here. So then I can access any of the prep that I need and I add to it as I go along. So for example, on this placement, if I learn more about fools that I don't already know from a previous placement, I then add it into this Word document as a thing I can look back on um, at a later date. So I do it like that, um, as well as adding in like um, prep I did. I add in any words that I'm unfamiliar with that I see in patient notes. Um, so I can broaden my knowledge in that sense. I also write in all the, is that what I needed? Yes, it is. Perfect. I also add in all of the, um, reflections and like any case study work or any weekly work that I do, I add it to this document as well. One, I don't usually show my educator this document, but um, it depends on the vibe I get with the educator, so I'm not gonna lie. But um, <laughs> I don't always share it. I should always share it to show how much work I do outside, but I usually do mention it. But this is mostly just for me to remain organized. And then I put any feedback I get from others in there. I put my personal development plan in there, SWOT analysis, etc. Like all of that information goes in there. Okay, I did not have any UTI information. <sighs> <laughs> okay so yeah i'm gonna do this and i'll get back to you so you don't just have to watch me copy and paste <laughs> okay okay so this is taking me way longer than it should have been but um i kept getting distracted <laughs> so we have frailty on here we have arterial blood gases information falls information dementia UTI, and then got my placement SWOT analysis and stuff. Bruh. So. You could tell data, like analysis, statistics, them types of things are not my thing. That is just not for me. I spent the fast, past, fast, past 10 minutes getting angry at this software because it will not give me the results that I want. Only for it to hit me that those variables, the variable that I'm searching up, doesn't apply to the test that I'm trying to look for. I don't know whether it's because I had little sleep last night. 
but today is going to be a fun one for sure. Even with you guys here on camera, I am lacking so much motivation today. Like, so much motivation, I just can't be asked today. And yeah, I've been looking at this disso data and it's just peeving me off, quite frankly. I'm not gonna lie, like, if you know me, you know, research type of things like dissertation thing just isn't up my alley and um, I don't take too kindly to it I have to be in like a really good zone and I'm just not in the zone it's doing nothing but aggravating me looking at all the numbers are just aggravating me right now so I'm a bit just like oh my god I can't be asked oh, and I've got an eyelash in my eye that just will not quit touching my eye yes yeah, so I've been looking at data again um, the numbers are annoying it seems like I'm just getting more and more and more and more variables and more numbers and more data and more and more on top of more and I'm like how the hell am I going to put this all into a condensed fashion like I don't know I'm just having one of my moods right now where I'm just like I swear like I am at the point where I'm just like as long as I see a five meaning that it's 50 something and I've passed I am happy because I am just I do not have the inner strength to push for harder than a 50 at this point um like I've got to this eyelash is really going for it it's like I can see it in the corner it just won't go with, there we go I got it it was like really poking me in the corner of my eye but yeah I'm gonna send that email off um, I'm gonna see if um, maybe I'll take a lunch break take a break it's now half 12 take a break uh, send an email and look at my other assignment I have to do and see if it puts me in a better mood